welcome to my channel once again and if today is your first time consider subscribing and also don't forget to share the channel all right so if you are interested in data analytics and programming then this channel is the right channel for you without wasting my time let's go straight into the classroom welcome back to the classroom once again and in this tutorial we're going to look at some projects uh, data analytics projects that we can do with excel and this data is a raw data from road accidents that was recorded in the period of 2021 and 2022 so we will follow the data analytics pipeline which involves data cleaning data gathering data cleaning data transformation and also visualization and data analysis so first of all we have to clean this data and as a best practice i will create a copy of this data onto a new sheet so that when we make a mistake we can refer back to the old data so there is a good practice as a data analyst right so i'll create a new sheet and name it as worksheet and paste all the records into it okay so first of all we will look at empty values and to do that i'll select the header column or the header rule and choose sort and filter and select filter this will bring this small filter button so you, you drop down to check if we have blank values right we don't have any blank values then we also check the dates if we have any blank value we don't then the date of the week which we also don't have so i will do this quickly right you can just be checking to see that you don't have any empty values so in this data we don't have any empty values so i'll look out for uh, duplicate values so i'll choose our data then remove duplicates so if there are any duplicates in our data it will be removed then i click on ok right so we only have one duplicate value okay then the next thing i'll look out for is uh, spelling mistakes so let me come here okay so you see that we have fatal and fatal so this is a spelling mistake and to clean that i'll just select it press on ok then come to home i'll select the field then find then replace so i'll find fatal and replace it with fatal okay so i replace all so 49 replacements i'll go back to sort and filter and clear the filter okay so now we don't have any errors again so we have fatal serious and slides i want to change this to low so what i'll do is i'll come back here replace then instead of slight i'll make it low okay so this will replace all slides to low okay so now all slide has been replaced with low okay so the next thing that we will do is to transform 
the date into month and day and year okay so i will insert two uh, two columns after accident date then i'll name the first one as year and the second one as month so i'll use the formula text to extract the year so it takes the value which is this field comma then followed by three y's so this will extract the year from the date then i'll do same for month using the text function you select the date followed by comma then three m's this will select the month or extract the month from the date so basically this is what we will do with our data so now that we have our data cleaned and transformed we can create our pivot table and to do that we just click on any of the uh, cells then come to insert or choose pivot table under insert tab so i click on pivot table then i want my pivot table to be on a new sheet so i will leave it at new sheet then okay so this will create a new sheet with our pivot table pivot table is used to build reports and to summarize data so i will name this uh, this pivot table as uh, pivot one or let me name it as we are going to uh, kpis okay let me make it kpis all right so in this project or the story that we want to tell with this data is we are going to look at uh, kpis that's then we also look at uh, casualties by car type then also we will look we will compare the casualties in the previous year to the current year then we also look at the casualty by road type then we also look at the casualty by road surface casualty by location and casualty by light condition then we also create uh, filters to filter our records okay so let's create our first kpi so we will look at the total casualties for the period so you make sure that you click in the pivot table then you come to the pivot table field so on the right hand side you see a box that lists all the columns or the column headers in the data set and on the left hand side too you see the pivot box which will build the reports so the first kpi that we want to look at is is the number of casualties so i'll choose number of casualties and place it under value so uh, under values we get the sum of number of casualties so this gives us 41,417,882 so i want to introduce a comma then remove the decimal places so this is what we have as our number of casualties okay then the next KPI that we want to look at is the 
total number of casual fatal casualties then or that the severity of the casualties so to do that i will just copy this pivot table and put it here or paste it here to create another copy and the kpi that we will look at is the severity count so i will choose severity okay right so this is the accident severity so i'll put it under rules so now we have the total sum of the severity of the casualties so we have fatal low and serious right then the next kpi that we want to look at is i'll copy this again and paste it here then we will look at the casualty by vehicle type okay so i will remove the severity by just dragging it up here then i'll drag vehicle type to down here okay so now this is what we have right but you see that in the car field we have most of the cars to be similar so we i would like to group them according to the car type and to do that i will use i'll come to pivot table analyze from the ribbon then i come to field items and sets but before that you need to select any of the car types right so i have a car here then i also have taxi or private car so i will group taxi and car under one group so i'll select car then come to the fields items and sets column then i choose calculated item okay so i'll give it a name of cars then i'll choose car just double click on car plus so what i'm doing is i'm just adding the casualties by the sum of casualties by car type to the sum of casualties by taxi or private high car so i'm just adding them together okay so it's just an addition okay so you see that it has added the two fills together so what i'll do is i'll filter out uh, the first car column and taxi private high car column okay so i'll go to or i'll come here that's i'll click on the filter button then i will filter car and taxi private car out okay then the next thing is i'll group bus or coaches with uh let me see
with vans van slash goods no okay no let me let me rather group goods goods and van slash goods okay so i'll select this come to fills items and sets calculated items then i'll name them as basis no i'll name them as uh, goose vans okay then i'll double click on goods followed plus the followed by the plus sign then i'll click on this i'll double click on these goods the plus sign again then i'll choose okay i'll double click on these goods again so now i've selected all the goods vehicles so i'll just click on ok right then filter them out since we've grouped them we can filter them out from uh, records okay now i want to group buses and mini buses so i'll select buses come to fields calculated items then i'll double i'll name it as buses okay so i'll double click on buses plus mini buses okay right and i'll just filter them out as i do to the rest okay so now we have motorcycles which we can also group together so i'll come to fields calculated fields then i'll name them as motorcycles i'll double click on motorcycle plus another motorcycle plus this motorcycle so what i'm doing is i'm just grouping similar vehicle types and by so doing i'm just taking their totals together up to okay then pedal cycle do we have any cycle again no okay right so i'll filter the motorcycles out once again let me just filter them out okay so the next thing left is agricultural vehicle which we will not group then we also have other vehicle and ridden horses so i'll group other vehicles and ridden horses so i'll come back here calculated fields then i'll name it as others so we have other vehicle plus ridden horses ridden horse okay then i'll filter them out right so now we have grouped the vehicle types into the following right so we can go straight by calculating our kpis so fatal let me create fatal 
then we have we have uh, serious and low okay so fatal i will look at the percentage or percentage wise so it will be equal to before that let me just pick the sum or the total so equal to this then serials is equal to this then low is equal to this so what i'll do next is i'll take the percentage and the percentage is equal to uh, this divided by into brackets this plus this plus this right then this one two is equal to this no this divided by into brackets this plus this plus this then this also equal to low divided by into brackets this plus this plus this thus you divide the value by the total value so now let's convert these values into percentages by selecting them and clicking on the percentage sign okay right i think we can introduce decimal places okay so now we have these values for some total of casualties and percentages okay so what i want to do next is to create a pie chart with the various values so to do that i'll select or come to charts then i'll select a donut chart right so this is what we have okay so i don't want the legends and i want the data labels okay chat title is casualty by severity okay all right the next chat that i want to create is we are going to create kpi for the various vehicle types so what i'll do is uh, we will create we will create that on the dashboard i'll create another or insert another sheet and name it as dashboard right so what i'll do is i will i will insert a shape 
a rectangular shape. I will make a copy of the shape. And put it here. Okay. Then I will go to, I will select all the cells. View. Then I'll uncheck grid lines. Okay. So now we have a blank page without grid lines. And the next thing I will do is to give a background a color. So I'll give it this color I want a black color I think black will be fine okay this color is okay let me expand this then in this title we have Accidents data analytics of accidents records. I want this to be in the middle. Make all of them big, bold. Okay, right. So now the first KPI that we will pull is the sum of all casualties. So I will put that here. And what I will do is I will create, I will insert another shape, rectangular shape. I'll insert it here, make it black, protrude the shape a little, right. This one too, I want to make it black, protrude a little. I'll do the same thing to this one. Okay, so what I'll do here is let me push this up a little. Okay. So I'll insert text box here and give it a name of Let me insert a text box and call it as total casualties. I want the font color to be white. Bold. And 12. I'll 
copy and put it here. I want it to be in the middle. Okay. I'll duplicate it. Clean what is inside. Click on the edges. Then come here in the address bar and click on or type equal sign. Go back to the KPI and select this cell. So before that, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. If you select directly from the pivot table, you get an error. So the best thing to do is to, to create The best thing to do is come to the pivot table, then uh, reference the total casualties in an empty cell. So equal to this. Okay. So now let me make it. Let me remove. Let me remove the decimal places. Okay. So now that we've put in it in an empty cell, we can now reference it here. But make sure that you click on the edges of the text box. You come into the address bar, type equal to. Go back to the KPI sheet, then select this. So now we have it here let me change the text color to white okay so i can change the text to white okay so this is what we have now let me increase the font size a little okay so basically this is how you can create a kpi for the total casualties okay we will do same for the severity totals so i will just duplicate this Then copy this and this, paste it on this, change the title to Total Fatal Casualties. Then I'll reference this. to here okay i'll make it white bold change it to let's say 18 okay right then i'll make a copy once again so let me copy all Paste it here. I'll paste same here. Okay. So there is total.
serious casualties then total low casualties So this will reference serious casualties change the color to white make it 16 and bold okay so this total low casualties will also reference here right you select make it white then 18 or is it 16 okay let me make it 16 for uniformity so now what i want to do is i want to add this donut chart paste it here let me remove the background format chart area so background fill i will make it none and border lines to i'll make it none then i'll choose the one percent and make it red okay now just remove the data labels for the rest okay then i'll reduce the size a little i don't want the title so i remove the chat title let me remove all the data put this here okay i'll make a copy and paste here okay so i'll make this move no i want it for only this part so i'll change this part different color I'll change this part to to gray. But I want to depict only okay. So this for this. okay okay so i'll do copy and paste again change this to green i'll change this color to gray because we want to highlight only the percentage that belongs to the low casualties okay so this is what we have now okay so basically this is what we have for uh records so now we are done with the basic kpis and the next thing that we want to do is the kpis for the vehicle types okay so let me shift this to the left hand side a little
okay so i'll select all and move it to the to the right hand side okay so now that we have a primary kpis arranged okay so now we have our kpis set up for the total casualties the total fatal casualties serious casualties and total low casualties so the next thing that we will do is to create the kpi for the vehicle types okay and to do that we will go back to our vehicle types kpi so we will just do as we did for the fatal so this is equal to agric but i will drag it down you see we are not getting the correct values so what we need to do to make it dynamic is to select the first value once again and come here and change this to the cell number comma and the cell number okay so now if i double click it will pick the values accordingly right okay so we will use uh, icons to represent the various vehicle types so i'll come to insert then insert pictures i'll go to online so this will open a search box for us to search for cars so i'll search for car png okay so car png i can choose any of the cars okay let me choose this car okay so this will represent a saloon cars we have something here let me just get rid of it by deleting it because we don't need it okay so this will represent the saloon cars so saloon car then we have what again let me insert another image we have saloon cards and agricultural cars so agriculture will use tractor tractor png This is nice. Okay, let me insert motorcycles. I want to insert all the images so that we will be free from that. So, motorcycle. So now I will insert this for others.
Okay. Let me change the color to this color. Okay. So I'll copy this. Copy. Paste here. Equal to the first one is car. Okay. White. Make it white and sixteen bold. Let me put it here. Okay. Let me expand this a little. All right. Copy this once again. Equal to agriculture. So we have this for agriculture. Select all. Okay, let me do this. I'll click on this. Then click on this format painter to apply the same to this one. Make a copy. Which is equal to Moto Cycle. I'll click on this, choose the format painter, apply to this. Okay. Paste once again. Let me paste all and edit one after the other. Okay, so this is equal to basis. I'll choose the format painter, apply to it, and this is equal to goose van. Goose van. Okay, I'll choose this format painter, apply to it. And this is equal to other vehicle types. Choose this. Okay. No, I made a mistake. Okay, so this is equal to other vehicles. Click on this, choose Format Painter, apply to it. So now we have uh, various vehicle types and they are KPIs selected. Okay. Let me push this to the bottom a little. give it a title so I'll copy this title make a copy here casualties by vehicle type 